Welcome back students to um, this video on Le Chatelier's principle, manipulating temperature. All right, so let's say I have a, a similar um, situation as in the last video. I have this cobalt complex. I got blue ions and pink ions. So you can see the reaction there. Let's say the stress is I'm going to increase temperature. So this is very much like concentration. When I increase temperature, I shift away from what's added. When I decrease temperature, I shift towards or to replace what was lost. All right, so if there's my stress, I have increased the temperature, I shift away from the increase. Whichever way that arrow points, I have up, up, on the other side, down, down, down. Okay, and what if I um, decrease the temperature? So I I lower the temperature with like an ice water bath and I have to replace the temperature I've lost, just lost, the heat that I've just lost, sorry. And so on that side, up, 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 other side, down, down. Okay, here it is in real life. Okay, so you can see I'm going to put that one in hot water. So uh, you can see my control color there. I increase the temperature. That um, is my stress, I shift away, blue ion should go up, everything else should go down, and you can see that it is turning blue. Okay, I'm fiddling with temperature there, and now you can see obviously I've turned blue. Okay, let's put it in cold water, decrease temperature, that goes down, I shift that way, pink ions get built as well as chloride, and a slight amount of energy comes off and then the blue ion drops, so it turns back to pink. Okay, <clears throat> all right, so there you can see how temperature affects uh, this equilibrium system. Here's another one. So um, uh, I have these things called equilibrium tubes. They contain N2O4 and NO2. So let's say my stress was I increase temperature, I shift away, NO2, which is reddish brown, goes up, and N2O4, which is colorless, drops. So the system should go darker red brown. Okay, it would look like this. I have a hot water bath. I take my equilibrium tube, I drop it in the water, it shifts to the right, to the products, and it gets darker. What if I throw some ice in the water and I decrease the temperature? It will shift to replace what was lost, Colorless goes up, red-brown goes down, so I lose red-brown and form more colorless. Now, it doesn't completely disappear, the red-brown, but it goes a lot lighter. Okay, here it is in real life. So I think what a lot of people don't realize is that there's NO2 in that tube. That's the red-brown that you see. And there's also N2O4 in that tube. That's the colorless that you see, or that you don't see, but that's colorless. They're both in the containers. I think sometimes a student, when I pull out these two tubes, students think there's NO2 in one tube and N2O4 in the other tube. No, everything is in one tube. I just have two tubes to show you the difference. Okay, so here's a hot one. Increased temperature. I shift, to rip, uh, I shift away, red-brown goes up, colorless goes down. In the other one, I decrease the temperature, I shift to replace the temperature, that, the heat that I just lost, and colorless goes up, red-brown goes down. So, you can clearly see here that the one is getting darker brown, and the other one is getting lighter. And we'll compare the two next to each other in just a second here. So we'll give them a second and here we go. Let's compare them. There's the hot one and there's the cold one. Okay, good. And stay tuned for the next video on manipulating pressure.